गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम प्रशांत लिम है आई एम अ ग्रेजुएट रिसर्च असिस्टेंट वर्किंग विद डॉक्टर अशूरी एट द स्कूल ऑफ बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन टूडे आई एम एक्साइटेड टू शेयर विथ यू अबाउट आर रिसर्च इन टू एक्सप्लोरिंग फंडिंग एंड फाइनेंसिंग मेकेनिजम्स फॉर सस्टेनेबल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इनिशियटिवस सो इट इज़ अ वेल नोन फैक्ट इन द इंडस्ट्री दैट ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशंस इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स comes from the transportation sector so uh, this indicates two things that transportation has a huge potential for emission reduction and there is an immediate need to form strategies for this emission reduction so uh, federal highway administration uh, recently issued a mandate for state dots and uh, uh, metropolitan planning authorities that uh, they quantify their greenhouse gas emissions within their a uh, transportation network so because what gets measured gets managed and uh, then uh, after quantifying that they have to set uh, reducing emission targets for the subsequent years so if transportation agencies have to reduce emissions within their network they have to put emphasis on building sustainable uh, transportation infrastructure within their network such as uh, transit projects then uh, active transportation initiatives uh, active transportation initiatives include uh, your bike lane network then multi use rail network complete streets then projects which uh, integrate low carbon materials into the construction or which integrates uh, you know renewable energy into the transportation network or projects simply which are providing smart transportation technologies which in turn reduces the congestion on the road as well as the accidents on the road so all of for a major challenge in undertaking these sustainable transportation projects is the funding today in united states on federal level the transportation infrastructure is funded through uh, federal uh, like uh, uh, through the through basically the gas taxes which are collected in the highway trust fund so only 15% of this highway trust fund the 15% amount of this highway trust fund is allocated to transit projects which then fund sustainable transportation initiatives and if we uh, go on state level let's say in georgia these gas taxes are only reserved to fund roads and bridges projects such as roads and bridges so we have to rely on local funding for our options so there is a need to investigate into innovative funding mechanisms in order to get these sustainable transportation projects funded another alarming statistic about this highway trust fund is that uh, it is currently running in a yearly deficit that uh, the outlays are more than the gas taxes collected and by 2028 it is forecasted that uh, it will be completely insolvent fund so in future from this statistics we can say that reliance only on public funding for sustainable transportation projects will not be a effective option to fund this sustainable transportation initiatives and hence there is need to explore alternative financing mechanisms from private sources in order to get these projects funded so our research focuses on uh identifying and investigating into these innovative funding mechanisms as well as alternative financing mechanisms such as public private partnership for ev uh, charging infrastructure then uh, uh, ca uh, carbon credit sales the funds we get from carbon credit sales then concession pricing cordon pricing these are some of the uh, mechanisms innovative funding mechanisms so uh, we aim to comprehensively understand for each mechanism what are the sources of funding who are the major financiers and what is the eligibility criteria to access those funds and uh, we are currently studying the case studies of these each mechanism in order to assess the suitability of each mechanism for a type of project so that when a project proponent wants to uh, wants to uh, execute a sustainable transportation project he would have a guide book that would say that here are the funds on federal level state level and local level as well as private financing and for your type of project this kind of mechanism have been proven to be effective so our overarching goal is to create a decision support model for transportation agencies uh, which can guide them in order to fund these sustainable transportation projects effectively 
So our, this research uh, works towards the UN SDG's goal of a transportation system which is safe, affordable, accessible, efficient, resilient, while minimizing the environmental impacts of that particular transportation system. So uh, thank you, thank you uh, organizers for giving this platform and thank you each one of you for your presence today. And let's work together to steer transportation towards a more sustainable and equitable future. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.